Hey, what's going on guys? Um, thought I'd walk you just through really quickly what my usual day looks like and the different tasks that I prioritize. So um, I'm gonna be popping up the schedule and the tasks either here or here. Um, so the schedule, so normally I, when I wake up, the first thing that I do is check my schedule and check some emails. Usually I try to set a preliminary schedule the night before um, so that I at least can go into the next day knowing somewhat what the schedule will contain. A key point around the schedule is to only have on your calendar those things that absolutely must happen. Apart from that, you should have them on your task list. The calendar really should be sacred. Uh, you don't want to have ha tasks, reminders, this, that, the other clogging your calendar because then it only creates confusion whereas it really importantly whenever you're working on anything but especially something that's multifaceted it's imperative that you have clarity and to the extent that you can minimize variables to the extent that you can minimize having to think about other stuff that's great uh, obviously you'll see this principle sort of taken to an extreme with certain CEOs like Zuckerberg for instance who only wears gray shirts who tries to minimize the uh, decisions that he has to make in the day so he can allocate his decision making energy to only the most important things. I think that's a little bit far. Um, I swear I don't, I don't wear the same clothes just to make sure that I, I have enough decision making capacity for the rest of the day. But I do think it speaks to a general truth which is that simplicity is key. Um, so normally in a day, um, I'll wake up, I'll take my, my puppy out for a walk, I'll take him out for a walk every like few hours or something like that so he doesn't shit and, and pee everywhere. Um, but beyond that, I really do try to get right into the work as soon as possible. Uh, again, from the last video, life is basically momentum, um, and especially that true, that's true on a micro level within the day. And so just get really getting started immediately is I think absolutely crucial. Because um, it's easy, especially if you're working from home, if you're working on a startup, to just let the hours slip by and to try to justify um, semi-productive things as being the most important things. Like it's easy to do a bunch of house chores, um, taking out the garbage, uh, doing this, doing that, cleaning especially, and to feel like you're being productive when really you're just distracting yourself from the most important things. So I always like to get started right away. Um, and then really there are only a couple of other things that are um, real necessities in my day, which is working out um, and eating. Um, there was a time that I was going to daily mass, um, but because my car is not really close by and because I've been working on finishing my business plan, which I hope to finish today, um, I've just kind of gotten out of the habit of that, which has taken a noticeable effect on my spiritual life uh, for the worse. Um, but um, that's a, sort of just a note that obviously when you work on a startup, it's going to have impacts. It's going to impact other aspects of your life, your relationships, um, your spiritual life, your physical life, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm taking care of my body. I really should be taking care of my soul as well. I don't have to go to mass to do that necessarily, although that certainly is helpful. Um, but I definitely should be praying more um, in general, especially if you're going to be working, you know, 80, 100 hours or something like that. Um, which is actually hard to do. It's easy to get distracted, um, but you have to have harmony. And obviously you can make short-term trade-offs of I'm going to sacrifice harmony right now in order to have a big push on this thing. And maybe that thing, it takes a week, maybe it takes a few months, maybe it takes a year or something like that. Musk is a big advocate of, um, you know, basically dropping everything while you work on it. And I think that's broadly true if you want to be astronomically successful as he's been. Um, but Definitely, for those who believe that there's more to life than just success, um, maintaining that harmony is important, especially when you think about the entire life cycle of your entrepreneurial career. It's going to be important that you maintain. Um, like You can drive a car really, really fast, really, really hard, but if you're not taking care of it along the way, at some point it will break down. But again, there are trade-offs. Um, and really, besides that, my, my schedule usually remains pretty clear for the most of the day. Um, and again, like unless there's something that is absolutely happening on that schedule, I try to keep it off. I've, I'm sometimes bad about keeping stuff on, um, but when it comes to my tasks, I've created just like a, it's not an algorithm, I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, it's just like a, a general function within Excel with Google Sheets um, to just automatically rank order things according to their urgency and their frequency um, so that I don't have to think about what I should prioritize. Should I do something that's very high importance that's due next week or should I work on something that's of media importance but due tomorrow? 
which one do you work on? It's kind of hard to tell in those scenarios sometimes. So I just created a sort of a priori, hopefully relatively objective um, measuring system, which is definitely going to be imperfect, but which then automatically ranks everything uh, or gives it a score between zero to 100. Um, and to the extent that it's like below like 20, it's honestly probably like A, not worth doing or B, um, worth delegating. I can't delegate right now, but maybe it's worth not actually doing at all. Um, you should check out the Eisenhower matrix. It's actually really good for this. But then it's a simple matter of like, boom, like I just, I order it and then I get to work and that's pretty much it. I think one of the things that I really need to work on though is artificial deadlines because the biggest problem I've encountered is saying that something is due in a week when it's not really due and then I kind of know that it's not due and so I just kick it down the road. Uh, and that's actually been pretty detrimental, especially with the business plan. It's a 62 page business plan right now that's pretty well done, pretty well researched and everything. And definitely I just underestimated how long it would take, but certainly um, I could have gotten this done at least a week sooner, maybe even two weeks. And especially if you're trying to work on something that's going to scale, that's just an abysmal timeline. I have to get really good at going fast. Facebook was really good at going fast, especially when there were a number of competitors. The reason they won out in the end was sure, they had amazing technology, they had tons of funding, but their history is replete with organizations and startups that had that type of energy, but that lost focus. I think this is one of the reasons that Amazon's been able to be so successful and to continue its dominance in different areas is because they've stayed hungry from day one. Jeff Bezos' uh, letter to the shareholders from 1997 is actually pretty good at delineating sort of the ethos that Amazon was going to maintain for the following, what is that, um, 22 years uh, and is going to maintain for the next 50 or whatever it is. Uh, I think Amazon's uh, leadership values are actually phenomenal, uh, which is around obsessing over the company, working fast, working hard. Uh, I think those are absolutely imperative. Uh, you really have to be able to just make the sacrifice and go all in for these things. So I haven't been the best about working 70 to 100 hours. It's easy for me to get distracted, especially in adopting a puppy. Uh, puppy. Um, but. Um, I gotta find a way to work around those because uh, otherwise the company won't get built and we just flat out won't succeed. So, uh, longer video than I intended, but that's my schedule. That's generally how I schedule things and those are my tasks for the day. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, of course, no one's gonna have any questions because no one watches these at this point. Um, but I hope to maintain these uh, going forward so you guys can get a, a good look as to what I'm actually working on, uh, especially as hopefully people come to care more as I <laughs> hopefully grow the business more. Uh, Cause right now, who, who cares about what I have to say? Cause I'm just a nobody. Um, right now, that'll change hopefully. Uh, but anyway, um, to anyone who does end up seeing this, hi, <laughs> see ya.